last Sunday uh, at Emmanuel, I was uh, talking about this verse from the Bible that's really had an impact on my thinking. It's in 1 John chapter 3, verse 17. It says, Whoever has the world's goods and beholds his brother in need and closes his heart against him, how does the love of God abide in him? That verse has had a haunting effect in my life. And some of the people who are most needy in our world are outside of our own local context. They're outside of our own country. They live in other places in the world where there is persecution and where there is great poverty. There are a couple of quotes from John Ortberg, writer, author John Ortberg, in his book, Who Is This Man?, that uh, have also been impacting me this week. Here's the first one. Christianity is flourishing among the poor and persecuted, while it atrophies among the rich and secure. Another line from Ortberg, where the faith has too much money and too much power for too long, it begins to spoil and the center moves on. And I think we've seen that in our lifetime. The center of Christianity, where it seems like God is doing his best work today, isn't in the United States of America. It's in places like South America and Central America and the Pacific Rim. And um, why am I sharing all of this? I'm sharing all of this because I love what this church, Emmanuel Church, does in other places in the world, especially among those who are poor and persecuted. I love the fact that we are investing there because it seems like it's in those places that God's doing his best work these days. So for those of you who are part of a church or part of a manual that's very active in other places in the world, I say keep up the good work because God's on the move. Sometimes the center for where he's doing his best work relocates and we need to relocate with that and how we spend our resources and how we pray and how we show concern. Those are my thoughts today.